Namaste. A warm welcome to all of you who are watching Apollo 24-7 Health Hour. Health Hour is powered by our expert doctors from Apollo Hospital from all over the India. We care about you. That's why every Sunday we bring in an expert from 11 to 12 to talk to you about the problems regarding your health, anything under the sun. Namaste. A warm welcome to all of you who are watching Apollo Today, we have taken up a topic of sexual health because no one else is talking about it. It will not be a boring yarn session. It will be a one interactive session where you can ask your questions. You will win gifts. You will win vouchers. And there are so much more to this. Not just this. Before we start, don't forget to download the app Apollo 24 seven so that you can get all the Apollo facilities on your mobile phone. Before we start, I just want to introduce the topic that we have taken today. As I said before, it's going to be sexual health from disease prevention to use of small medicines to a long term solutions. For that, we have an expert, Dr. Mithun Bhartia, who has more than 12 years of experience and has earned a name, not just in India, but all over the abroad. He can be consulted for diabetes, thyroid, sexual problems and much more. The awards and achievements are less to mention here. He has been MRCP UK, MRC GP UK, FE CSM Amsterdam, CCST Endocrinology UK. He is a famous sexologist and endocrinologist. You can ask him any questions that you feel that you want to ask regarding sexual health, diabetes, thyroids and much more. Awards and achievements of what should I mention about? He has been a rising star diabetes UK and rising diabetes star India. I would like to welcome Dr. Mithun Bhartia. Hello, doctor. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Welcome. I just realized we are in sync. You're wearing blue, so we are in quite sync. So I'm sure the, the meeting will go very well today. <laughs> Any meeting, anything with you is always so easy and so simple. So thanks, Rashmi. I, we look forward to this uh, one hour health hour. And I hope the audience gets a lot out of this. We'll try to be, as you said, I'll, I'll follow your dictum and try to be as lucid and as simple as follow and try to not use medical jargon. <laughs> if I'm using medical jargon, just slap my wrist and say, you know, just put me in place. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much, doctor. I have spoken a lot about you, which is still a very less, but then I would just like to get into the conversation without wasting our time and let the audience know it's going to be about this sexual health, but in a simpler way. So let's begin. Doctor, one thing that I want to start with, you know, before I say that public doesn't ask you questions or they don't go to doctor. If you ask me also, I am also someone who is not very comfortable uh, talking about these health issues or problems with even in family or to a doctor. So am I right? Do the patients that who come to you, are they like this or they are any different? I, I agree completely, Rashmi. See what happened. We are a reflector of our upbringing. See, I belong to the era when there was only one cartoon network, which was Tom and Jerry. And I believe watching Tom and Jerry that a cat and a mouse can never be friends. So I was in yes. San Francisco you know, you know, long ago. 15 years ago, and I saw a cat, mouse, and a dog together, and the picture was taken. And it was very difficult for me to believe because so you know, if you have actually gone back and seen previous uh, Indian TV channels and movies, two flowers coming together and a child is born. Uh, yes. You know, uh, a sanitary napkin ad is coming, the channel is changed, or the children are asked to look the otherwise, condom ads. So sex was a big abu. No, no, no. You are expected to know nothing about sex. Uh, know nothing. And suddenly when you're married, you're expected to know everything. Who's going to teach you? So I think that's the dichotomy. And so people then fall prey to a lot of these babas and jholas and, you know, uh, secret red light, uh, green light testings that I've been told that happen all over India. And uh, as a medical fraternity also, uh, sex is not taught in medical school. It's unfortunate, but it is not part of curriculum. Okay. So in India, sexologists do not exist as a degree. I was fortunate. I was abroad and then I subspecialized. Um, that also happened by chance because um, some patient came and I didn't know what to do. 
So I went and asked my boss. He didn't know what to do. So he said, "Udhar, who is sexologist? Send him. He will not do anything. But at least, our mouth will be clean." So like that, I got interested. and then slowly 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 yeah it's it's very interesting it lets you know about people and what matters to people and sex really really matters to people it's one of those things that actually has an effect on your life you know everything else goes around but if your sex life is not good it causes a lot of tension in the house and there is a silent cold war that happens between the husband and the wife and uska sab jata hai bachcho pe बच्चों को ज्यादा डांट पड़ती हो तो कुछ बोल नहीं सकते सो दे बियर द ब्रंट ऑफ दिस फ्रस्ट्रेशन इन द हाउस एंड इट्स नॉट वेरी गुड फॉर द सोसाइटी बट स्टिल अनफॉर्चूनेट आई डोंट सी थिंग्स चेंजिंग दैट वी हैव एनी मेडिकल सेक्स एजुकेशन हैपनिंग आई हैव डन सम सेक्स एजुकेशन इन स्कूल्स बट अगेन देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ माइंड ब्लॉकेड व्हेन इट कम्स टू सेक्स एजुकेशन पोर्न इज वेरी कॉमन टुडे अ लॉट ऑफ चिल्ड्रन डाउनलोड पोर्न ऑन देयर फोन्स बट पेरेंट्स ट्राई टू बिलीव कि ऐसा कुछ होता नहीं है मेरा बच्चा तो दूध का धुला है उसको तो मतलब पता नहीं कहाँ से आया है क्या होने वाला है यू नो मेरा बच्चा ऐसा हो जाएगा इफ यू टॉक टू हिम अबाउट सेक्स आप बच्चे खराब कर जाएंगे सो दे स्टिल स्टिग्मा आई थिंक स्टिग्मा एग्जिस्ट फ्रॉम द पेशेंट एंड सो द फियर एग्जिस्ट वेर टू गो सो द फियर एग्जिस्ट इन द पेशेंट्स बट डॉक्टर्स आई फील दैट इज अ पैंडोरा इफ यू गो ओपन आप एंड यू आर नॉट कम्फर्टेबल टॉकिंग अबाउट सेक्स then you know that doctor patient relationship goes away so not many doctors are very open you know i've seen doctors saying are aap to ab 60 ke ho gaye ho ab kya karna bachche ho gaye abhi chodo abhi to ye ho gaya wo ho gaya so that mindset really really works uh, there are a lot of bollywood movies which come on homosexuality uh, recently uh, movies on pre marital sex post marital sex and i think that is sex education as well you got omg2 now and that has and then there was another movie which was there by the lady sinha forgotten that was on ayurvedic uh, movie it was uh, I've forgotten the name so i think with all this noise and buzz around you know things are coming out of the closet and i think there is help there is decent help if you talk to people in a scientific manner i there is no age limit ke is age mein hi problem aayegi youngsters ko alag problem hai newly married ko alag problem hai 40 50 ko alag problem hai 60, 70 को अलग प्रॉब्लम है लेकिन आई कैन से आई 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 सीन द अदर डे वाज एक्चुअली टॉकिंग टू समबडी गिविंग चिल्ड्रन टू शो मी दिल्ड्रन इट जस्ट नॉट अबाउट गेटिंग इन फर्टिलिटी ट्रीटमेंट डन सेक्स इज अ बॉन्डिंग i think yes. the product has to be a come out of a bond rather than a mechanical insertion correct um so i have so many I... questions <clears throat> yeah sorry no i was just saying that i have so many questions to ask it's going to be taking like more than 2 3 hours but i'll stick to the basic questions that i want to ask and i urge yeah. the viewers who are on youtube to put down the questions in the comment sections so if you're watching this on instagram or facebook i request you to come on to the youtube channel of apollo 247 and put down the questions in the comment section but still the second question is still mine i want to know how does um sexual health looks on a um, men or on women like how what how different it is to um a men uh, or a female a male category or a female category yeah so god is you know even though we read that men are from mars and women are from venus uh, actually we have the same anatomical structures all of us have you know two hands two arms one brain you know all of them has got eyes nose ears so all of, uh, men and women are same in terms of needs in terms of sexual needs desire satisfaction and orgasm the only thing is a man has a penis and a woman has a vagina and a breast that's it there is not a difference that exists so some anatomical parts are missing here some anatomical parts are present there other than that you know i think sexual needs are equal in both men and women and it's unfortunate that it's difficult uh, we feel that you know women sexual needs a woman when she talks about sex it's like oh my god she's talking about yes. sex she has got sexual problems there's a big myth yes. oh my god things you know that attitude exists there's a men talking about sex still is okay ha huh? chalo theek hai so i think that exists yes. it's changing um it's a lot of change a lot of change i've seen 
And I think a lot of my patients are dragged by their wife and their girlfriends nowadays. So most of my appointments are by the wife and the girlfriends who drag the man uh, in the clinic and say, sir, is ko theek karo. And the men comes because the woman has threatened him, ki ab chod ke chala jaunga. <laughs> so I think that that is the only way men come in the clinic when they are actually threatened by the relationship going haywire. Otherwise, a lot of men actually have found they really don't care. Uh, one of the surprise yes. I I found was, see, I, you know, Guwahati is becoming a metro. And I thought people who live in, you know, kind of smaller areas and villages, uh, they would be more docile and women folk would be more docile. It's the other way. I found women in the surrounding suburban areas, they leave their husbands happily. No performance, six okay. months, thank you very much. That's news. Yes, so that's news. That was news, actually. And that took me a bit of time to adjust. And then the men comes and then the woman goes to their house. So a lot of drama happens. The whole family comes around. But the point is, why let that drama happen in the first place? You know, Correct. why can't people actually sort out their sex life? And it starts, you know, everywhere. You know, parents don't talk about sex. How do you expect a child? So, you know, there's something which is nice about menstruation. I mean, it's not nice in that way, nice. But in the way that the mother talks to the girl about it. Yes. And she explains the situation about it. Why can't a father talk to a son about sex? Doesn't happen. Why can't a mother talk yes. to the son about sex? To a woman, it's fine because menstruation started 12, 13. So they explain everything and kind of a lot is told to the, to the girl. Yes. Whereas to the yes. boy, nothing is told. And then, you know, you're left to the internet and the dark world of internet to decide what's right and what's wrong. And then suddenly people start judging a child, which is really, really, and that's where I think a lot of things start from. Sorry, I, I kind of dithered away from the question, but I think bottom line, your question is, there's no difference. Yeah. There is no difference to need and nobody should be looked upon whether they are. And I think people should go to the doctor and say, I have a need, I have a sexual problem. As they talk about, I've got diabetes, I've got high blood pressure. If you're not comfortable with your husband, leave him in the waiting room, go and talk inside. Yes. There's nothing yes. wrong in it. Uh, yeah, correct. Uh, another thing that is very closely re related to this is masturbation. And the yeah. thing again is that it's popularly known amongst men, um, amongst women also. But then again, we spoke that we don't speak about it very clearly. So I want to understand there's so many questions related to, related to this topic. The first one being whether one should do it. The second one being, are they overdoing it? Third one being, is it harmful? So if you can just brief us about it and making sure that you include both men and women into it would really help us a lot. So masturbation, we can do at least seven sessions of these on masturbation. And still there would be yeah. more questions on masturbation. It would be, you know, that the, the whole meeting will finish on masturbation. You see, again, the story happens. You see, Amala, I have a philosophical answer to this. Traditionally, okay. people get married at the age of 12 to 13, 14. You know, it got child yes. marriage got about it. And I'm not again, I'm not saying that you should have a child marriage, but see the puberty happens around that time. So when there's a surge of hormones that happen around that time, there's a surge of sexual needs that happen at that time. Okay. Correct. And and so at those times, generally traditionally, is that the time that people actually start considering masturbation. And masturbation okay. starts either by your friends ki i did this yes. and i like this generally it's the friends who influence it because the friends will say Are aisa, tumko pata hai, aisa hota hai. you know i did this and it was oh my god it was seven seven so that's 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 how a friend will influence you and says okay let me also give it a shot um nowadays it's not very difficult previously it was very difficult for people to get erotic stimuli because people you had to yeah. go and buy immediately those magazines that were available on the corner stores hidden and, and, and get aroused. But nowadays on internet, you don't even have to pay for channels, WhatsApp and other channels, people will forward you a lot of stuff, which is free and which is available. In fact, if a parent goes and sees the child's phone, you will have to go and see a psychologist and a, and a psychiatrist. If you actually unlock your children's phone, who's a teenager, you'll have a really tough time coping with life because you're yes. expecting something different and that is what is not happening. And the child will be severely punished. That's part of growing up. So what's masturbation? Masturbation is what you are doing to yourself 
what a different person you'd have done in a different person's body. I mean, very careful by saying different person's body because it can be both of the same sex and the opposite sex. So Correct. whatever very sexy practice nice. you're trying to do, you're getting it by doing it yourself. Now, as I said, what is the difference between a man and woman? There's no difference. There's no difference yes. in needs of a man and woman. So why is there a difference in masturbation between men and women? There is not, there's no difference, but you know, it's very hush hush in woman folk, um, really hush hush men among friends. I'm sure among female, among friends, it's still very open. Uh, there's nothing wrong in masturbation. How much masturbation would you talk about? Say if somebody has got married and they're going to tell me, I said, I had sex four times. He's going to, the friend is going to pat him. He's going to boast to his friend. I had sex four times a day. Hmm, wow. Okay, so that's, that's a matter of boasting. Whereas if you have masturbation twice a day, three times a day, four times a day, one time a day, what's right, what's wrong, who defines? As long right. as you're as, as you are satisfied, as long as you are, your mind is not just about masturbation. So then there's a Correct. problem. If you're just constantly wanting to masturbate only and you cannot focus on anything else in life, then that's right. a problem. It's thing like you just you are just focused on sex all the time from morning to night and you cannot think yes. of anything else then there is a problem there but other than that masturbation is a natural normal phenomena i yesterday got this actually yesterday i got three children i got to see one of them came with the whole family uh, because he's masturbating he wants to go into medical school he cannot concentrate he's lost all his energies the whole family is abrupt came with his nanny father mother you know, six family members coming and the child does not know how to react because nobody has talked to him about masturbation. Nobody has talked Correct. to him. So then, you know, the whole problem is education and the whole problem is yes. the myth. And then the myth that says masturbation will cause, you know, when you actually ejaculate, the semen takes so much of blood to make. So you're losing so much blood. You're losing so yes. much energy out of your body. Then you're losing energy. You're bound to feel weak. Of course, and what happens in sex, I don't know. You lose somewhere else. The semen comes out from that at that point as well, but you feel happy about it. So I think the myths go around. Uh, there's no end. Uh, as I said, the whole session will go on masturbation. We'll not have time yeah. to discuss anything. But I think uh, things need to be, you know, and that's where influences like you and it makes a difference because then people's perception needs to change. People need to understand and get on with sex as part of their life. It's a part of life. We eat. We use the toilet, we take a shower, we have sex. What's the big deal? We make it a big deal, yes. it's a big deal. See, uh, the other thing that's very interesting, anywhere you go, and I challenge the audience, in your own house, your parents will not call your penis a penis. They will call it by all weird, wonderful names that you have been told while you have been brought up. Nobody calls a penis a penis. What's the problem in calling a penis a penis? And that's the problem that happens right from the house. They will give it all fancy names. I don't know, you know, creativity in India is is is, is humongous. There's no end to this creativity. But yes. that's the problem. That's where everything starts from. Correct, doctor. Thank you for that. But there, my comment section is getting bombarded with the questions. So let me just ask them, uh, ask you these questions. So Akhil Khan is there. He has a question that um, how can you stop nightfall permanently? So first, we would like uh, to know. Is nightfall, nightfall really such a big thing or if a problem or a disease and how it can be cured permanently is the question. What exactly is nightfall? That is also very important. I can just type what do you mean by nightfall while we address some other question because I've seen 20 different meanings of nightfall what people think. So because you are asking this specific question, let me understand what you actually mean by nightfall and we'll come back to your answer specifically and I can give you so that you are happy and satisfied about the nightfall answer uh, because people mean nightfall by a variety of ways you know you know people have nightfalls because they google and says nightfall has happened I've ejaculated the semen in the night oh my god I've got weakness I need to be cured doctor I need to actually you know I need to be given medicines I cannot concentrate in life if I take a glass of water and I put pour water on top of the glass. And if I put yes. more water on it, where will the water go? It will fall down. It's gonna come out. Yes. Does yes. that mean the water is bad? No. No. It is overflow. So okay. 
we'll, we'll let we'll let Akhil ex actually explain if he's there what he means, and I'll answer the broader question. But if it's an overflow, it's an overflow. Do you worry when you pass urine because something is coming out of the body? No. Does a woman worry when you are getting menstrual bleeding coming out every month? Of no. Do you do you worry when you pass stool every day? No. Do you worry when you spit saliva? No. Why do you worry when semen comes out of your penis? Just because in children we have been while as a child our parents have told us our private parts are private parts. Don't touch. Yes. If you touch your hand, it's okay to touch their. Oh my God, you're dirty man, dirty boy, dirty girl. Okay. So yes. something special has been assigned to our genitalia. The right. whole feeling, anything special, anything that comes out from it is also special. And if it comes too much out of it, it means that you have a disease. So that okay. is the perception that exists. Hmm. So moving on to the next question, uh, people want to understand about the um, erectile dysfunction. I mean, it's I, as for me, I think that is the most common question and disease that people go up to a sexologist to ask about because that affects their uh, marriage if they are married and also it affects their mental health because they think they see really something wrong with them. So what's your take on that? So as you said, it's it is the most common question and there are so many sub varieties. Okay, let's talk about erectile dysfunction. So what is erectile dysfunction? Erectile comes from the word erection and dysfunction comes from the word that is not functioning well. So when Correct. your erection is not functioning to your satisfaction, you're calling it erectile dysfunction, right? Now, why do you need an erection? You need an erection to have sex. And why do you need to have Correct. sex? for sexual satisfaction and for procreation. Correct. For Correct. procreation, as long as you can put the semen inside the woman's vagina, you, it doesn't really matter. Yes. Okay. Whether you were there yes. one minute or two minutes or 30 seconds or 20 seconds, you had a half an erection, a full erection, you had an erection, could not maintain it or whatever the reasons were. So you would yes. need erection for sexual satisfaction. And sexual yes. satisfaction is in between the two years, not in between two legs. When we are eating, okay. we stop eating because the stomach feels full. We get a signal from the stomach going to the brain, stop eating, we stop eating. Similarly, okay. when we have sex, we, we have that feeling of satisfaction when it hits the brain and you have that orgasmic satisfaction. So the point that people need to understand is you are having an erection problem. But what is your goal? Is your goal orgasm or your goal erection? The goal should be orgasm. And to have an orgasm, you don't need to have penovaginal sex only. You can have an Correct. orgasmic satisfaction even without penovaginal sex. So I think Correct. that concept first needs to be cleared. And when it comes to erection, yes, it's very important. Because the erection is not just for sex also. When a man wakes up in the morning, so there is a lot of evidence in people, women with breast cancer, that when they had the breast removed, they feel yes. they don't feel like women. Because that's an essential yeah. part of being human. Similarly, okay. a man wakes up in the morning, he does not get an erection, he feels incomplete. So Correct. to feel like a man, also you need an erection. So erection is not just for sex, you also need to feel complete like a man. And there are a lot of factors that go in that define why you don't get a decent erection. And there's an interplay okay. of the mind, the body, um, and the psyche, that, which okay. may is the factor. You see, I was talking about menstruation initially. Yes. And God mm -hmm. created menstruation in a very beautiful manner, I should say this. Correct. And women are very lucky to have menstruation, though a lot of women will not agree with me. It is a hassle <laughs> for me. But, uh, and I will never know what it is. So it's very difficult for me to say, But you know what to do with Thing that goes wrong in the menstrual cycle for any woman that reflects okay. something is wrong in her ecosystem. Correct. And you you will go straight away to a doctor to ask for help, your gynecologist. Correct. Similarly, yes. when is there something wrong in your, your erection means there is something wrong in your body. So you should okay. seek help straight away. It is just not for sex because there are a lot of hormone interplay, some tumors, various other reasons that can cause impairment of your sex erection. So it's the same Correct. thing. So I think it's very synonym with the menstrual. 
if we are if your female will go if your wife will go some problem menstruation you will send him to a gynecologist you will say are jaldi jaldi ha jaldi karne ka kyu deri kar rahe ho tum itne safar kar rahe ho a man has an erection problem will say nahi koi baat nahi now we are not having sex bhai he might have some other medical problem which is causing the problem with us so sort that thing out so that is very yeah. very <coughs> important to sort out so it's uh, the very causes uh, we can go from medical causes to psychological causes and sometimes there's an interplay also you see if you know cricket is there and uh, you know india actually goes with cricket and we understand it with every joke with cricket people can understand and interplay yes. better you see a batsman comes and hits six sixes on a, to a bowler the next time that bowler has to bowl on you he'll be frightened and terrified similarly you okay. can't perform you can't have an erection you know you are under constant threat by your relationship and the moment you are focusing it's go 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 gone it's completely gone at that time <laughs> so correct, the more correct. you focus purely on that performance and then you need to have an erection all the stress factors came in you know there is vasospasm the blood vessels become narrowed blood doesn't come in the penis erection is when blood comes in the penis i take a balloon and i blow air in it the amount of air in goes in the balloon the balloon swells up the amount of blood comes in the penis get an erection so whatever actually causes interplay in causing this disruption of blood will cause erectile dysfunction sorry okay. I, i i i hope i have not baffled around and been able no. to answer your question no but i was just thinking like uh, the women viewers would be thinking how would sir know about menstruation the men uh, the men viewers would be thinking what would she understand about erectile dysfunction and then understand yeah i i i agree but see what happens is uh, it is an interplay you cannot have sex alone na? you can have masturbation yes. alone but for sex you need yes. a partner generally yes. 90% will be the opposite sex 10% may be the same uh, sexual partner it's the same story so you need your partner yes. to know and you need to talk to your partner people don't talk right. to their partner people assume are sir usko nahi pata i have patients who come and say sir mere wife ko nahi pata main aapke paas aaya hu usko batane ka nahi maine kaha boss uske sath ja ke karte ho usko nahi pata to everybody knows na she knows what's happening so you yes. so you know the perceptions of people are there no end correct the other question is that i am from a fitness industry and then uh, there are various kind of um, chemicals that people use and then they look awesome and then they have awesome body and um, six pack abs and everything like steroids so i just want to ask that uh, people who use steroids does this affect their sexual health or with the erection or is just a myth or a taboo that people say that people who actually have six pack abs do not have good erection so what's on that I saw there was a WhatsApp uh, app, uh, you know, some forward I saw. You know, group of women were sitting on the beach and they ogled uh, men with six packs coming. As long as the men opened his mouth, they just turned around. So you know, you know, you you put testosterone in your body artificially, it screws up completely your hormone system, and sometimes okay. it's gone for life. So please don't use okay. testosterone and steroids for your body. it's just not for sex it just spoils the hormone system there's an ecosystem god has created and sometimes it doesn't okay. recover so okay. yes you might look very young and attractive um in front of the opposite sex but you might not be able to perform so then you know that initial attraction would be of no use um chemicals there is no evidence you know a lot of i get a lot of people who've been told by the gym instructors and sold uh, various kinds of testosterone yes. injections tablets um uh, well i think i i am in the wrong profession i should have joined fitness industry uh, when i hear those stories i said ye to main galat kar gaya mere ko tar rehna chahiye tha i think people should do what they are, what they know if you tomorrow ask me you know you are a fitness expert and i start talking about fitness it's wrong no man you can put me in place in 2 minutes and i say oh my god i better not open my mouth so similarly when people talk about sex now this is a trend of people talking about sex as we were dis- uh, discussing offline i think fitness instructors are very needed you need to be healthy if you are healthy your hormone pro- profile will naturally boost exercise boost your pre hormones your natural desire it's very good but don't use short term things short term will always be short term 
shortcuts are always shortcuts uh, they work Correct. for some time and then it fizzles out so Correct, uh, beware of any instructor giving you any kind of steroids it's an absolute no no he still insists go and see an expert whether you can see take it on prescription if you have a medical need don't take it over the counter it may harm your body forever that's the take home message on that okay okay uh, i think a lot of uh, actors and uh, influencers too have actually led people to look six uh, look perfect fit six pack ass but they don't understand that they do it for a very short period of time and then it should not be done like people do it like every day every month for the year sometimes some people have actually lost their life to steroids so like by well ex yeah I agree, and yeah. as you said, a lot of people. You know, in fact, nowadays mannequins are coming with normal human body. Not everybody is fit, because then yes. you you say, "You said, 'Pehle ko mujhko kaisa lagega?'" Then you can actually identify how it looks. So I think Correct. size zero is going away. Uh, people are understanding that they, what is natural, natural. You know, you're beautiful as you are. You don't have to make Correct. you know two centimeters up and down to make you feel more beautiful, yeah. more handsome. It's the inner beautiful of a person. and you must be comfortable right. in your skin i think and then you can exercise it's good for health yes it's healthy it's good for health. but you must be happy and comfort and not there should not be any body shame in yes, fact correct then in when i was in uk there used to be a, a, a tv you know thing that happening every week how to look good na naked by van gogh uh, it was very nice they used to get oversized people get them to walk on the ramp it was an amazing program So I think you must be comfortable in your own skin and let that not anybody shame you for it. Correct. I think I'm getting a lot of questions about uh, circumcision. They want to ask what is the cost usually in India, and if you get it done, what would be the effect later on on your uh, sex life afterwards? Does it affect? Does not? So I am not the person who takes the knife and snips it. Okay, so I can't actually give you a cost of how what the cost is going to be, uh, but right. as a rough guide, I would say uh, something between twenty to forty thousand, depending upon which category of hospital, whether you're using insurance, you're using general right. ward, you want a cabin special ward, you you want a highly rated surgeon, all that might vary. Yeah. Now, the okay. question, what is more important, is does circumcision affect my sex life? or it doesn't affect yeah. my sex life and i think why you bothered about sex with a piece of skin as i said sexual satisfaction is here in between the two years if that extra okay. skin causes problems in an erection or you are having pain during erection or you are having uncomfortable and your doctor is advising you for circumcision then it's a okay. different matter but if okay. it's not in the way of your sex life why are you trying the poor skin to be snipped off and be there and be not there it it really doesn't make a difference uh, where the skin is for your sexual satisfaction if it impounds on your sexual satisfaction and pain discomfort or any problem and your doctor advises fair enough other than that correct uh, we can keep fussing about one mole here and one mole there and one mark here and one mark there i i really don't care about where where the foreskin and how much the foreskin uh, is is there during erection the uh, only other uh, about uh, foreskin is if after sex your foreskin goes back make sure you bring it back to its normal place after sex i think that is more important okay. but other than that people worry uh, everybody may have a different tale and an answer to that but i think look at the more broader picture of satisfaction rather than the picture about where my foes can us uh there is another question that i want to ask um i just want to th i think that um making love has been associated with masculinity also for men like they just boost about for how long they have done and how they have done it for such a long period of time and how they are different from other men um is that also the one of the reasons that there's already a stress on their mind because they have seen read about it somewhere or maybe their friends they have told them that you know i my life is like this and i do it for this longer now there is an undue pressure on them to perform well because they have thought that this will affect their masculinity just wanted to know about that see we, we all go to movies we love bollywood movies 
we yes. go and see uh, salman khan and shahrukh khan bashing tan in muscular uh, villains in 5 minutes okay and i and then you come back and say oh my god mere ko bhi aisa ho ke main bhi 10 gunto ko peed dunga that yes. right no okay how many and then mm-hmm. you see them dance and how many takes and then the takes become you know we are having a live show if we actually cut and copy pasted the show would be much better because then aur acche se hum usko club karke show bana sakte the so i think perception yes. a lot of perception comes from porn a lot of perception okay. comes from friends a lot of perception okay. comes from of, uh, you know internet and the dark world of internet and yes. and a lot of it comes from the opposite sex as well because her ideas concerns and expectations and her previous right. experience with another partner and your previous yes. experience with another partner it's is often interplay you see what you assume what is normal is very difficult to define who is normal what is normal what is not normal see Correct. um my father is a doctor he doesn't smoke he is a social drinker right from childhood i felt social drinking is acceptable it's yes, part of normal life correct right it's and not. smoking is yeah. bad in some houses people occasionally smoke so a child will believe occasional smoking is okay that is natural for life karna bhi chahiye ek do baar so what you believe what what ideas concerns expectations upbringing ex- exposure to the world you have is your perceptions and that influenced by your previous experience you had a bad experience with somebody with sex who lasted you know go go gone you know before you complete the sentence the person has ejaculated then your you know your you know concept about sex is no longer existed and you had somebody yeah, who right. was very sexually satisfying and then yeah. you have now got a partner you are stuck with married who is very beautiful handsome six packs can't even last can't even do anything you have to make your choice what you've got yourself into So I think all that Correct. causes an play about everything. Correct. There is another question that he really wants me to ask. He is Chetan, thirty-five, male, and I am diabetic. How to improve my sexual drive? So what Get should we tell him about? Under control, number one, you see, diabetes has an interplay with sex. Sugar and sex go along very well. They're like two sisters walking together, two twins. Anybody okay. who has diabetes will have some sex problem. at some point okay. in their life i have challenged that i've seen so many couples in my life so many diabetics in my life you will have a okay. problem some kind of a problem uh, whoever your diabetes specialist or endocrinologist is onus is on you to tell him i have a problem uh, how okay. you can improve you can do a lot of things that you can improve it, things in your hand things not in your hand things in your hand keep your blood pressure your sugar and other things in good control have a good working relationship with your partner be a male or be a female if you don't have a okay. relationship you know suddenly there is tension in the house and you feel abhi kuch nahi hua abhi hum log holiday pe jayenge to sex karenge to sab theek ho jayega once a year that doesn't work we'll take a break yeah. of four days in our life from our life you'll have four days of sex and all relationship will be fine and we'll <laughs> be able to we'll be like two strangers in a bed not knowing what to do correct so i work uh get your priorities right in fact um, right. my experience is people in the hilly areas are more concerned about the health than people in the plain areas i, I get a lot of people, yeah because for them they would say my health is predominant for yes. people in in the land areas money is predominant right. how yes. to look beautiful is predominant yes. you know all the social stay, you know jewelry degree ये सब ज्यादा सुंदर दिखना चाहिए खर्चा कहाँ करना चाहिए पार्टी कहाँ हो रही है ऑल दोज आर मोर इम्पोर्टेंट रियल लाइफ इज लेस इम्पोर्टेंट सो वॉट इज योर प्रायोरिटी इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट करेक्ट देर इज अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन समवन इज आस्किंग सर कैन आई टेक आयुर्वेदिक टैबलेट्स लाइक अश्वगंधा एंड शिलाजी टैबलेट्स सो डू यू थिंक दीज टैबलेट्स एक्चुअली वर्क और आर दे जस्ट सुपरफिशली सोल्ड फॉर मार्केटिंग गिमिक्स i'm just trying to uh, you know get the right answer and use the politically correct word to answer this question um okay. it's like asking a plumber uh, how do the electric wiring work he will not know the answer so if you're asking him okay. hello doctor that i am and you're asking right. me about i have the questions i don't know and, okay uh, as long as your doctor can give you 
randomized controlled literature that they had they had done some studies and they got 5000 okay. or 10000 patients 5000 they gave them this medication and 5000 they gave them the medication that put the same label on top of it and then they took their blood test and they checked the erection and all those you know scientific data and they got convinced and if your doctor can provide that then perfect if your doctor can can't provide that then um, i don't know you need to ask him uh, but as far as my knowledge goes about ayurveda i am not qualified to actually make a statement on that uh, and so it will be very, very difficult the only statement and however i can do is that don't take ayurveda allopathy homeopathy ayurveda um, and all all other any other you know alternative sciences and make a cocktail and and do that it's like you're going to a dinner party you know uh, and you are you becoming a race party you are you taking two drinks of whiskey then two uh, drinks of glendifitch two of uh, bourbon whiskey two vodka two rum two whiskey two beer you're going to have a really bad time if you make the mix the cocktails up so do believe what you want to believe follow the science you want to science as long as but ask the person who is prescribing about the data from the science okay and even i do the data go for it hello are we lost there rashmi hello i think the link's broken or something's not right we check i think we've lost uh, to internet on rashmi i somebody could prompt anything else i am happy to answer we'll wait for another moment i'm sure she will be back very soon um but i think if i am live i'm not even sure if i am live and she is not live but if i am live guys be careful don't go to somebody who is not qualified for your sexual needs you'll end up in a bigger mess go to somebody who's qualified who's seen enough patients who knows what he is talking about i think that is far more important uh, than anything else
Time to join back. Hi, so I'm back. Yes, you know what? In my life, if anything has to go wrong, only one percent that will go wrong with me. So that's what has happened. <laughs> it's technology. There's not much we can do about it. I'm sorry to keep you hanging and the viewers around it. Just a quick question. I'll take the last question before we leave and we go on to our next section. I just want to ask: We have people who are saying that they experience pain in their right lower abdomen. What do you want to say about that? During sex or generally? Yes, correct. No, during sex. During. Yes. Okay. So when you talk about right lower abdomen, it's a medical abdomen is a medical word. Okay. So um, I've lost Rashmi again, I think. Um, but when we talk about right lower abdomen, is anything below the umbilicus is lower abdomen, and right lower is on the other side. So on the right lower side, if you say the appendix area is there, but you may have something else that's going on. Uh, which is causing if it's just related during the time of sex then it is related to sex something is going wrong um, and maybe you have some sexually transmitted disease maybe uh, you have uh, some kind of an infection that is going on which needs to be sorted or it could be some other things which is unrelated which is exaggerated by your sex and your sexual positions i think we've lost rashmi again i'll wait for her to come back live and i can continue while rashmi is not there right okay uh rashmi is not there so let me frame my own, own questions and people asking things about uh, sex let me just continue the discussion here guys sex is a very integral part of your life it's a part that needs to be looked after it's a part that one needs to be concerned about it's a part we are very private about it's a part that we don't share things about. It's a part our parents, are, we are not comfortable talking about. It's a part we feel there is a taboo that exists. It's a part that does not exist in the medical system for doctors to train and to talk about. It's a part that society looks upon if, you, if there is a problem. So beware of whose advice you're following. I, I was fortunate uh, to get trained in England when I was there because the system existed, the ecosystem existed. Such ecosystem does not exist in India. So please be careful who you are going, who you are taking advice with. Because this is a part that you have closely guide, guarded over the years. 
and you do not want somebody to take advantage of your fragile situation which is often the case i i've seen you know humongous stories about you know children who are going to college i've seen nudity being shared with opposite sex in schools and colleges be careful be careful what you are doing be careful that nobody blackmails you about your sexual needs about your sexual desires guard it and very commonly in which we have not talked about or which have not talked is sexual abuse very common um i would say if we have 100 people in the audience today i'm sure rashmi is not 100 we 100 billion um, but uh, 25% would have had sexual abuse at some point in their life some kind of sexual abuse very common very brushed under the carpet there was a movie long ago called monsoon wedding amazing movie which touched on sexual abuse in the family happens in the family happens in i've seen teachers uh, you know people falling prey to some teachers correct to their uncles their aunts you know and nobody wants to talk about it so i think it's part because then it scars you for life i have i mean i have no people who are seniors in their profession who have actually used juniors for their sexual bait and for their career progression and they have been scarred for life it happens don't fall prey be careful um be more careful with uh, known people than unknown people because we have always been talked are stranger se baat mat karo main bolu ghar walon se thoda bach ke rahe to wo thoda sa aap dekho rashmi is back now we'll you know let her ask more questions uh, i was just trying to thank you yeah yes i was just saying that thank you so much for actually helping me and taking on the show for the you are actually the star of the show you were and you are but we are running just short on time so quick one tip that if you can tell the audience that is they must do for to better their sexual health and one thing they must prevent and not do so one tip would be so must do is you must talk about sex it's only when you okay. talk about sex you will know that the problem exists and Correct. one must not do is then don't suffer in silence if you're not satisfied with your partner get him on a cup of coffee be opposite sides tell him i am not happy let's seek help i think these two matters will really change the world correct correct now we will move on to the health quiz but last question we will take that uh, from surin ghosh he is saying what what can help me to increase my stamina level to increase the sexual timing again ha huh. So, um, uh, what was the name of the uh, uh, person who asked the question? So, sexual stamina to increase the timing. I think you. I'm sure you have a stopwatch on, and the watch is on when you have sex, and then your partner taps the stopwatch back, and then says, "Are you've done it in one minute? You need to increase your performance next time to two minutes." Stop being fudgy about stopwatch. Nobody has a watch on, watch off when you have sex. enjoy the process jo maza uh, safar mein hai wo destination pe pahunch ke nahi hai so enjoy the process of sex enjoy the feeling that comes with it and uh, respect your partner's feelings when you are having sex correct thank you thank you so much doctor it was lovely having you here not ju- not just for educating us but helping me through the live show as well uh, we will see you again some other time but for now thank you so thank much you. for joining us Absolute Thank pleasure. You. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Yes, you too. Bye bye, doctor. So, guys, now it's time for health quiz. I am going to ask you simple three questions, and you can type your answers in the chat box only on the official YouTube channel of Apollo Twenty Four Seven. The uh, on our the winners will be announced at the end, and the discretion, the sole discretion, would be of Apollo Twenty Four Seven team. Just in case you are the lucky winner, don't forget to mark us a mail on marketing at apollo twenty four seven dot com. Gift vouchers will be sent to you. Just reiterating, the answers could be mentioned only on their official YouTube channel in the comment box. I am reading the comments as well. So the first question. So uh, let's go on and see the questions. The first question is fill in the blanks. It's very basic, okay? When a woman stop stops menstruating permanently, it is known as The hint for you is M dash N dash P A dash S E. If you are a woman watching it, you would not even need the help of the fill in the blanks. But if you're a man, I know you can still guess it. The second one is you have to just say either yes or no. 
Birth control pills are type of a contraceptive that is taken to prevent pregnant pregnancy. Okay, first one has answered. Okay, okay. And the last one is simple, true or false. What do you think? HIV isn't a sexually transmitted disease. I can see some people who are answering in the comment section. I will still give time to people. These are the three questions that you have to answer in the chat box and the winners will be announced subsequently. I'm still waiting. While you are answering, let me tell you, we have coupons to give away. Please download Apollo 24-7 app and you can use these vouchers there. You can consult our doctors, including doctor that you saw today, and you can get rupees 150 cash back on your online doctor consultation if you use the code ASKDOC150. That is A-S-K-D-O-C-150. Also, something special for the viewers who watch this on the YouTube channel is if you order medicines direct from Apollo, you can get up to 25% off on all your online medicine orders. The code to use here is FIRST3, F-I-R-S-T-3. So let's see what's there. And the last one, see, I told you, you will have so many coupons, so many offers, so many gifts. It will be completely worth watching the last one for you is use code hh247 to get 199 off on online consultation with apollo doctors and 20 percent off on your medicine orders you can use this as a top up on the other coupon that i've shared isn't this amazing any which way you're ordering from apollo this would only help you to use it and save some bucks so let's see what are you looking for? Till the time we are still calculating who is the winner, let me tell you that Apollo is there on your doorstep. All you need to do is call or WhatsApp on 09355-247-247 to avail healthcare services. They are just a call or a message away. I am waiting to get to know who is the winner and it's the time. And the winner is... Ta-da! Anita. Then we have uh, Abhijit Banik and Hari. Just repeating the names again. It's Anita, Abhijit Banik and Hari. So guys, if you are the ones who are the winners for today, don't forget to mark us the mail I told you on the email address and the gift vouchers will be sent to you. I think it was an amazing session. Of course, there was some technical glitch. We can close it for now. But before I move on, let me tell you, I will see you again on next Sunday, that is 17th of September, on the same time with a different topic, which is unhealthy liver. We all know that this has become very common for people to say my liver is enlarged, but do we know the dangerous things about it? How, what causes it and what would prevent it? This is Rashmi Rai and I am moving on for this. May you have a wonderful day and see you next time. Thanks, thank you, thank you a lot for joining us today. I am really sorry for the glitch. See you next Sunday.